Well, we're well and truly in the midst of autumn and I'm back on the road. This time I'm heading down to Paris to hook up with my mate Fibu for a bit of Parisian carp fishing. A Parisian carp has been high on my bucket list for quite some time, so I absolutely jumped up the opportunity to spend six nights on the mighty River Seine with him. We've got two spots that we're going to fish. The first one's directly in front of the Eiffel Tower, which I'm sure you'll agree makes an iconic location for some epic photographs. Our second location is a less than colourful part of town, which is a little bit rough, but I'm sure if we get any bother, my mate Fibber will sort them out. So, I'll just get back on the road and start making my way down to the city. See ya. After a mix up with the dates, it would appear I arrived in France a day early. Taking advantage of this situation, I headed an hour and a half south of Paris to a quiet canal for the night. This one about two hours after getting my lines out. A quick walk down the canal, see me spot a couple of bubbles near the lock gate. So I was uh, quick to get a bait on there and a couple of handfuls of scopic squid. And this is the result. What a beautiful mirror. Fantastic start to the trip and a fantastic start to the day. Can't wait to get him back, get my lines out and hopefully snare myself another one before the day's up. Lovely times. And that afternoon, I headed back up to Paris to meet my mate Thibu at the Eiffel Tower. Salut à tous, c'est Thibaut Cotel, consultant dans le team Nash France. Donc, euh, on va commencer par une petite présentation. Ça fait maintenant trois ans que je suis pompier dans la capitale, dans le 15e arrondissement de Paris. Et puis à chaque fois que je ne suis pas de garde, ben, vous le devinez bien, je passe beaucoup beaucoup de temps au bord de l'eau. La pêche de la carpe, c'est vraiment une passion pour moi et ça constitue une grosse partie de ma vie. Donc c'est parti, suivez-moi dans cette nouvelle aventure et dans mon monde. Let's go
<laughs> crazy night in Paris, yeah, really man. Crazy night. I have catch a very nice mirror, bro. Mate, that is a beautiful fish, mate. And yeah. from such an urban location in the heart of Paris, yeah. man, well done. That's a really cool fish, mate. I wasn't quite so lucky, though, last night. Right here. <laughs> well, uh, we had some uh, guy who roll up on me uh, about four o'clock this yeah. morning. And I heard something, I woke up and he was stood right above my rods. And I challenged him and he just said sorry and ran off. And uh, it was at that point when I went to give chase that I realised he stole my Nike Air Max, mate. You <laughs> Air Max, oh my God. Oh, mate, and I love that pair of trainers as well. <laughs> I've had them for a long time. But bro, they stink. They absolutely oh. stink. But yeah, no, it doesn't matter, man, because he probably needs them more than me if he had to steal my yeah. trainers. And I've got spare air in the van, so. <laughs> Should we go get some pictures done then, mate? Yeah. Yeah, cool, let's go, man, safe. Et voilà, la première nuit, une magnifique miroir qui est venue me réveiller vers 6h, 6h30 du matin. Fait vraiment plaisir, un beau combat, proche des péniches. Samir est directement venu m'aider. Puis voilà, beau poisson qu'on a mis au sec. Euh, quant aux appâts, c'était une Candy Crush Nut en 20 mm avec une petite citrus couleur rose en 15 mm. Magnifique. Donc pour ce qui est de la stratégie et de la technique que j'ai mis en place, j'ai décidé de venir amorcer la scène pendant une semaine avant ma pêche avec Samir. A chaque fois que je venais pour prendre ma garde, je passais par ce poste et puis je venais amorcer. Et dès que j'avais terminé mon travail, pareil, je repassais par ce poste et je ramorçais des bouillettes. Donc c'est des bouillettes Nash Candy Nut Crush en 15 et 20 mm. Pour, on a décidé de choisir ces bouillettes justement pour limiter la prise de silures qui sont très fréquentes sur ce poste. Euh, quand, euh, pour ce qui est du montage, il nous faut quelque chose qui est vraiment très costaud parce que dans la scène, euh, on a des fortes présences de péniches, euh, des caddies, des vélos, des scooters, on a à peu près de tout et n'importe quoi. Donc euh, on a nos moulinets qui sont garnis de tresses avec une tête de ligne en H et V-Duty. Ensuite, euh, pour ce qui est du montage, euh, c'est pareil, très simple, un simple nœud sans nœud en tresse combi-link avec euh, un hameçon Fanguni et taille 2 et euh, des gros plombs pour euh, limiter que, le, que nos appâts bougent euh, quand les péniches passent et euh, c'est très simple mais efficace pour euh, tout ce qui est les grosses rivières publiques.
really nice mirror. Yeah, nice mirror. I'm very happy to catch this. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. It's such an iconic location. Yeah. But a lot of criminal activity, man. Many criminals. First the trainers, <laughs> then yeah. second the drill. So I think we're going to move early, mate. Move on to the second spot. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, and big calm. I hope. Yeah, we pray. Yeah. We get our gear packed up then, mate, and uh, we'll head on off then, yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Boom. Savage take on the first night resulted in a hook pull after a relentless run. We thought this would be a sign of things to come but it wasn't to be. After searching the river for more than an hour, in the middle of the night we found very little on the echo. It would appear the Parisian carp dream was slipping away. Well we've had two nights in this location so far and uh, it's not really amounted to anything has it buddy? It's been a bit difficult. Yeah it's very difficult because uh you have many weed on the line, yeah. plastic, uh, very problem. We saw a couple jump, didn't we, when we first got here, but, um, but yeah, it's been a bit barren. Maybe we'll pack up then and we'll go and have a little look around. There's, uh... Yeah, you have a good park leg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of water in Paris, so uh, maybe we're just going to go have a look and uh, see, uh, see if we can find some carp, buddy. Yeah. Cool. And there they were, the mythical Parisian carp. The dream was well and truly alive again. A man dashed to the van to search for some bread, resulted in us finding out we'd eaten it all that morning. With this in mind, we baited up, ready to return the following morning. Yes, Vivu. Early morning Park Lake business, bro. Yeah. Let's go, yeah? Let's go, bro. Let's go. <laughs> they say too much of something Always good for nothing We've been searching for love when it's missing When the lights, they misguide you And it's so hard to stay true I can't find the place that
Action on the park late this morning come pretty swift in the form of this old character. Probably as old as the lake itself. I'm absolutely buzzing to have caught my first Parisian carp. Fish was taken from a baited spot that me and Tibu prepped up yesterday and the bite almost comes straight away. I really couldn't have asked for more. Proper buzzing. Just like London buses, this is the second of the Parisian carp to come along this morning. An immaculate common, proper buzzing to brace it with that mirror. Hopefully a sign of things to come throughout the day. We see a few fish on the surface yesterday, so we're gonna go have a go with a bit of bread and some dog biscuits, see if we can catch one off the top. Lovely times. Despite our best efforts, that would be the last carp of the day. Choosing to return the following morning an hour earlier to try and catch ourselves a last day banger. The same as the day before, it wasn't long before one of our rods was away. Yes, bro. Yes. <laughs> well done, mate. Congratulations to me. Small camera. Oh, it's a fish, mate. Yeah. Cool beans, mate. Beautiful fish. Yeah, lovely times, bro. Yeah. It would appear that Lady Luck was on our side, as Thibu wasn't the only one to wet his net that morning. With only a few hours angling available that day before our session would have to come to an end, the early start had paid off. Well, what a wonderful way to end my Parisian adventure. This little worry I've rattled off first light this morning, and what can I say, proper buzzing to have caught him. The perfect end to a wonderful trip with my mate Tibu. Lovely times, pure Blessington. Et voilà comment se termine cette magnifique aventure avec mon pote Samir. Je vous présente cette magnifique commune qui a déjà les belles couleurs de l'hiver. Piquée avec un wafter citrus en 12 mm couleur blanc. Comme dirait Samir, lovely times. Tibu. Yeah. Lovely times, bro. Bye, bro. Bon pêche. Salut, mon ami. Bon pote. Salut, mon ami. Salut. Bon pote. Bon pote. <laughs> ciao, ciao.